Mr. Boots was right. No. I'm just a cheap damn store robot. I deserve to get ticked around. Hey, pal. Looking for this? Miss Sarah, what are you doing here? I wasn't about to let my favorite little bot go into hostile territory without some cover. Looks like you did just fine without me. Oh boy, oh boy! Wait until Mr. Boots sees you. He's gonna flip a pancake. <laughs> So, yeah, we just have to go back to the lounge and, uh, you know, have a new companion, Sarah. Um, she is the second girl on the photograph of Boots' uh, old office. Except she looked a bit different back then. I've learned some pretty cool tricks since last time I saw you, pal. See that tiny switch up there in the corner? It opens a storage compartment where maintenance bots store their supplies. You'll notice them everywhere you go if you look hard enough. It's the standard all over the galaxy. I bet you I can hit it from here with a loony coin. Watch. So that's Sarah's special skill. Uh, you need to help her concentrate by centering the rings on the target lines. Click on the bullseye or hit the space bar to lock a ring in place. interesting this time I looked at the top and just aligned the top centers instead of looking at the um, the side lines I was looking at the sides watching them align it was actually easier to look at the top part of the square and just click when the uh, the little the center of the circle aligns with the little gap at the top Ah, well. It looks here like there's heavy duct construction for the set conference over the museum. <laughs> Maybe we can slink in through the back door. Healing back and look where I got. I was busting it out while you guys are busy dabbing. Looks like these gas mains run perpendicular to the construction struts. They could be dangerous if we're not careful. Believe me, honey. I've never been afraid of a little gas. <laughs> hey! What the hell? I'm a talking back here! Hiya, Boots. Poor pal. Excuse me. Hey. Her name's Serenata Iniwa. She's the reason I'm dead. You look great. You don't. Our golden boy looks a little tarnished. You should have seen me on Monday. I was his secretary. She was a detective in training. She tried to learn what she could from him. He was an awful teacher. Hell, an awful boss. You gonna stay in that get up all day? Thinking about it, it's me, don't you think? Not remotely. You could tell he was crazy about her. She couldn't have cared less. 
So what happened to Fatima? I thought you were dead. Don't change the subject. She died the night you disappeared. <laughs> I'm not jealous if that's what you're thinking. Believe me, I'm not. It's just... I don't like what she does to him. Why didn't you come after me that night? I did, Sarah. I could never count on you, Bocelli. Don't call me that, Sarah. Then don't call me Sarah. I'm Stiletto now. What the hell happened to you? I found myself. He can't go through this again. Neither can I. Interesting little collection of characters you've shacked up with. Which scam you running? It's my biggest case ever. I'm, uh, trying to save the universe. Do tell. This is our universe. Fifteen billion years ago, the Big Bang erupted, giving birth to the cosmos in the blink of an eye. Hot matter was hurled in every direction, coalescing into stars and galaxies over the course of billions of years. As it continues to expand, the pull of gravity will slow this expansion more and more. Eventually, it will stop expanding altogether and contract, collapsing the whole ball of wax. This implosion in turn will cause another Big Bang, resulting in the birth of a new universe. Current science leads us to believe this cycle is infinite. Everyone with me? Fatima, loop our universe. Now, imagine what would happen if we added some mass to our universe. An increase in the amount of matter leads to an increase in the strength of the gravitational pull, speeding up the collapse. The more matter there is, the faster it will implode. The light show's beautiful, sister. What's your point? My point is the spatial disturbance that split Sunder in half was matter from the previous universe pouring into our own. The TDD confirms it. Hold on a minute. Someone's trying to collapse our universe. Intentionally. Oh, it's much worse than that. Not only is someone from the previous universe adding matter into our own, they're also removing matter from theirs at the same time. If they remove enough dirt from their backyard, they'll escape the gravitational pull that would otherwise cause their universe to collapse. That means our universe will never be born. We will never exist. So, who the hell's doing it? <laughs> well, now. That was some interesting backstory and exposition. So, got an extra companion again. She fights with blades, obviously. Uh, I need to swap out these things again. I'll keep the rapid wristlet on him because he is rather slow. Because I think slow strike might be her thing. Yeah, excellent, Miss Affinity. 
is that the best I've got at the moment? Hmm. Alright. Alright, we need to get Grampus to talk to that monk in the um, sender station station uh, to convince him to sell us some mystic. Also, we've got some more tacos. Yes, we did. Aha! Now that is for Grampus. Yeah, this is a much better sh mistake. Right, what does it say? Visit the mystic library. Yep. Right. Yes, he did. Mm hmm All right. Um, bum, bum, bum. we need to go shopping desperately. We need to get our planet to those uh, cute little mug mugs at some point. Uh, we also need to bring Sarah to an Acronox because there are some switches for her there. Let's talk to everyone. I'm not quite sure where we go from here. I'll ask around. Yep. We'll be going to Hephaestus soon, but I'm ready to keep some. Uh, not right now. You. Scary stuff, Sly. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. I'd offer my help if I didn't think you'd cramp your style. Yeah. Where have you been? Around. I'm sh are you sure? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> None of these sound particularly respectful. Um, that one. They weren't strangers, they were flunkies for Detta, yeah. They deserve to die. Just like Detta's accountant on Sender Station and the two lawyers I popped on Cordica. They had it coming and you know it. Got a problem with that? No, but... Yeah, of course. You know, you don't need to keep wearing your stripper boots and all that. Mm. I'm sure it was. You don't seem to be. Yep. Let's go. Let's talk to a planet friend too. Planet is at your service. Not today. Crumples. Mm. Mistake awoke at the same time matter time matter flo flooded into our universe. <laughs> mm-hmm. Alright. The wisest man in the galaxy, eh? I guess we are. Seek an audience with the Grand Mysterium on Hephaestus. Um, are we taking Stiletto for this? Or are we taking someone else? Decisions, decisions. 
well, we definitely need to go shopping, and we also need to uh, convince that monk to sell us the mistake if he's still there. So let's go shopping first. We need to buy a shield cell for um, stiletto and some glow dents if possible. Mm -hmm. uh, that's all. What is this? Is this? Okay, that is a shield cell. Can I sell stuff? I can. All right. I've got plenty of these. Uh, I have three. sell all of this I don't want to sell that I could sell these though uh, no. selling my old weapons too We just got a better one, so I can sell that. Awesome. Mm-hmm. I guess I could buy this for now. I didn't buy Glodens, did I? Ah. Why doesn't it say that he's got a shield? party gets healed up if I go sleep in that dormitory. I will try that. If not, then it's just a waste of so money. They don't sell glodens here. I have to go to, uh, I think, an Acronox sells them. See if that heals us up. <laughs> yeah, I'll take a pillow.
Right, let's check. So his health is max. Hers isn't though. Alright. That's interesting. Why do they not have any energy? Grumpus and her, yes, we do. He's going into the hotel. What's that? What is that sound? Hi there. You what? All right. Uh, okay. I think that's a uh, really weird. Something we can get Ro Bowman for. So I'm going to do that in case he's got a cool upgrade for us. Actually, I hope I can swap Grumpos out at the moment and we're not locked into that um, go to Hephaestus quest. It's pretty cool. Uh, yep. Sorry, Grumpos. Awesome. We'll just go talk to that scientist. Uh, see if he's got anything for um, our professor here. And that's awesome. So she's now got master level uh, analysis. That was worth coming back for. Now, that was really all we needed her for at the moment. So I'm going to drop her back off. And swap her back out for Grumpus. Yes, 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 yes. We've seen that already. That's just him saying we need to go to Hephaestus. Uh, yeah. We'll take Stiletto with us. And now we'll go straight through to the um, send the station station. So that we can... Uh, hopefully find that monk again and convince him to sell us his um, mistake and to go to Hephaestus I guess mm -hmm. that baby has gone this little suitcase is still there though 
Alrighty. Uh, my pills. Yeah, my pills. Can't breathe. Okay. We'll need to go get his pills from the park. And that monk is gone. Oh no, there he is. Ah. Thank God. Right. <laughs> it's a frame. On account of being classites and all. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Interesting. Ooh. Looks like he's met his match. <laughs> All right, deal. So we're now Master Yammerers, no mistakes for sale though. But that's good. It's even better, I'd say. Uh, the park, I assume that's where that clown was. Uh, we're looking for the pills for that Brebulon, of course. He thought he left them in the park somewhere. So I have a zoom. That looks like something. Yay! to the station. Here we go. Yep. More cash. Well, that was useful. Do we go to Hephaestus or do we go to Anacronox now that we've got all of our people here? I think we'll go to Hephaestus because 
I'm not quite sure if any of the things we need to do are uh, yeah. um, if they require master levels and boots and stiletto are not masters yet. Okay. 